What's going on everybody? BZ Rider here with part three of my beginner's guide on how to ride a motorcycle. I'm going to teach you how to use it. It's easier than what you think. Hey guys, you might also want to check out part one of this series. I'll leave a link uh, up here somewhere, wherever it pops in at. And um, in part one, I'll tell you all about the controls of the motorcycle. So make sure you study that in order for this video to make a little bit more sense. I'll still break it down to you. So let's get into it, shall we? Alright guys, so here we are on the bike. Alright, so I'll just turn that off just to get a little less noise. As stated before in my previous video, here is your clutch lever. You guys should know where your shifter is at. So, when it comes to riding a motorcycle, the most important thing is the clutch. The basic things that you want to do is be as smooth as possible on this clutch. When you want to ride, you'll pull your clutch lever in. And when you're in your gear, you'll want to slowly let it out. As you let it out, your RPMs on your bike will drop down. The clutch is used to smoothly engage the transmission to the engine. There will be a spot while you're releasing the clutch, clutch will begin to engage and that's called your friction zone. Your friction zone is key. If you had any experience with the manual transmission, you will know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to the friction zone. But for you beginners out there, I'm still going to show you. Like I said, it's all about smoothly letting it go. You want to practice with your clutch lever just to get the easy feel of it. And as you can see, I'm doing this with the bike off. Let's go ahead and start up the bike and we'll get it moving so that way I can show you more about the friction zone. So the engine's running now. We're in neutral. Order to go, we need to put it in gear. So in order to put it in gear, we need to pull in the clutch all the way, kick it down in the gear. Now this is what I'm talking about. I'm slowly letting go or releasing the clutch lever and the bike start moving. I didn't do that. I didn't do that with my legs or anything like that. I'll show you again. Slowly letting, releasing the clutch. Bike starting one to go. Now if you're smooth enough, you can go ahead and just start riding. I'm not using any throttle. This is all clutch. If you're smooth, you could be able to have your motorcycle go and see the clutch is all the way out and I'm riding. Hands not on the throttle. That was all due to smooth clutch engagement. Now, let's say we want to stop. We'll just pull that clutch in. And the bike stopped. Now let's say if you were not so smooth on your clutch, like that, the engine will die and you'll need to restart it. Now since we're not in neutral, in order to start the bike up, we'll need to pull in the clutch and hold it. Starts right back up. So you know, you're not always going to be able to slowly let the clutch out like that because you'll be at traffic like or you'll be in traffic. That's when you'll want to start using your throttle. Now guys, I want you to just practice that friction zone. Just practice this. This part right here, practice makes perfect. So what I want you guys to do, this is going to be a little lesson on braking a little bit. You know, your brake is over here on your right hand side. When you're a beginner, you want to use all four fingers and squeeze in on your brake pedal to stop. So what I want you guys to do is just practice letting out the clutch. To get to that friction zone, pull it back in. Letting out the clutch, slowly. Pull it back in. And use your front brake to stop. I'll show you. Clutch is in. Slowly release out. I want to stop. Clutch in. Brake. That was a harder brake than what I wanted to do. I'll let you get a view of what it looks like from the front. Alright. So. Clutch in. Slowly let out nice and easy legs up and we can ride on you're at a light you're sitting there at the light your bike's in gear or the bike is in neutral you're at the light you see that the lights getting ready to change you know it's going from green yellow red what i like to do is once i see that the light is starting to change i grab in my clutch will pop down the gear so you know at a light you can't just smoothly go like that at the light because everybody would be kind of upset at it so you'll need to go and this is when you start using the throttle when you use the throttle you still want to be smooth and transmissions on motorcycles use a wet clutch so 
so you can't really like what's it called it's okay if you ride the clutch in a motorcycle because they are a wet clutch system unlike a manual transmission car where let's say if you're riding that clutch well you're going to smoke it when you're at the light and it's getting ready to change let that clutch out get you to where that friction zone is at i'm just holding on that friction zone see if i let it out a little bit you know i'm right there at my friction zone now i can start to give it a little throttle and match my throttle with my clutch I could do a faster lead from the line. We'll demonstrate that one more time. Coming up to the light, brake. You got the light, changing, clutch out, give it a gas, and we're off. All right, now you're practicing. You know, you want to do this in a parking lot, obviously, where there's no traffic around, a safe environment. You've been practicing, clutching, you're at the light. Letting your clutch out, giving it gas. You don't want to, you know, just yeah like that because then, you know, you're going to pop a wheelie and land on your back. So what you want to do is, you know, just keep on practicing your clutch in, giving it gas. Doing this motion here. There we go. Now that you have gotten in the first gear and you're able to leave from the light and all those things, your bike has five more gears that you can go through. When you can get through first gear or going from a stop in a first gear, riding through first gear and it comes time shifting gears is going to be relatively easy it's pretty simple when you want to go shift gears so you'll close your throttle pull in on your clutch and shift up with your foot you'll go from first gear you'll pass your neutral point and click it all the way up that'll get you into second gear if you can go from first to second then third fourth fifth sixth, it's all easy and you just like i said be smooth with all of it let's go ahead and try this out starting the bike Clutch in, first gear, light changes, you're going. Close the throttle, clutch in, kick up, slowly let out, you're in second. Ride it out, that's how simple it is. First gear, close throttle, clutch in, kick up, ride it out. Simple as that. And we are in Gravel City, my God. When you want to come up to a stop, close the throttle, clutch in, downshift, break we'll get into that later oh this is a good example here i'm on a slight incline most of the time i set the light with my foot on my rear brake if you're on a hill get to that friction zone i can sit here and i'm using the clutch now to hold the bike on this hill foot's off the brake i let go you can see i'm rolling back so i'm using that clutch on the friction zone then you just want to use your clutch slowly let it out and give it gas that simple all right guys so as you can see that was the most important part of riding a motorcycle you get the clutch down and your throttle the rest is golden shifting gears easy it's a breeze once again guys my name is bz rider i hope that i was able to teach you something and show you guys something and most importantly get you out there and just ride it's so fun to be out here on a bike enjoying life thanks again like comment subscribe i'll see you on the next one